hey guys welcome back to the part two of the genotype and compatibility video that i just uh, that i just did um this is the part two but this one is mainly for people with the as gene who decide to marry each other i know it's not easy when you fall in love with somebody and you're like oh, i cannot leave you because of your genotype i love you so much and i want to marry you okay now you have to be ready it goes beyond love you have to be ready you have to be prepared you have to do your research and i decided to i've done this before when i was going through my stuff if you've not watched my story time please watch my story time video i went through this and i was researching and i was finding out different options that are there for me to you know just in case we decide to go through with it so there is prenatal diagnosis you can actually find out what dna your child carries even while you're pregnant so even when your child is in your your tummy you can find out the dna of your child so it kind of like makes you prepared and helps you take decisions quicker and better when you know the child the genotype of your child and waiting through the nine months to find out what child you are having so there are two tests that can be done we have the amniocentesis and the chorionic villus sampling so these are the two tests that you can do the cvs and the amniocentesis now for the amniocentesis test this can be done like within then like 16 to 18 weeks of you being pregnant what they do is that they pass a needle through your abdomen through your belly through your tummy and then they take sample from the fluid that your child floats in they take samples from there and then they, they test it and i think it takes about three to four weeks for the results to come out so um yeah and i think it's and the level of the the risks of miscarriage for the amniocentesis test is lower than the other one that i'm going to tell you about because it's just a needle that goes through your abdomen you'll be under an ultrasound and then they stick the needle in take the the flu that they want and then they take it for test and you wait after four weeks the result comes out so you immediately know what gene your child carries if your child is aa if your child is as if your child is ss obviously if you are aa you might not really need to do this test but you can do because it kind of like helps you people with down syndrome you can detect if your child has down syndrome you can detect if your child you know has like an abnormal gene or something is wrong with the child so you can detect through this test so yeah even if you're aa and you have the money you can do the test now the second test is the chorionic venous sampling i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right it's called cvs you can check online you can check on google because this information i'm giving you is from google you can check google this one is done earlier than the amuni am amniocentesis test it's done earlier than this this is between like 10 9 10 11 weeks of pregnancy so what they do is so yeah, for the CVS, they stick a tube through your vagina and then they obtain a little a piece of the um, plant. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical practitioner. I'm just telling you out of what I've researched. So the way they do the CVS test is that they stick a tube through your cervix and then they take this time they don't take fluids from you know the, the, where the fluid where your child is. They take a bit of the placenta and then that's what they test and this one takes a shorter time for the results to come out at least i've heard three days some say a week highest minimum maximum two weeks your results will be out and some women say it can be very very uncomfortable of course passing something through your cervix it can be painful in case there's any form of pain so they give you a mild amnesia and then the result comes out um the first one i mentioned the amniocentesis for that one you know there's an ultrasound to check since they are sticking a needle through the woman's tummy so that they don't rupture anything or they don't puncture the child or something and it can also guide them in case you're having twins or triplets or whatever so that they know where they're getting the fluid from so and um ultrasound guides them through the process and then for the cvs you know at that early stage of pregnancy that early stage of pregnancy of 10 weeks 11 weeks 9 weeks you are still fragile the child is still fragile anything can happen so the rate of miscarriage compared to the amniocentesis test 
the rate of miscarriage for the CVS is very, very high. Like you can miscarry your child immediately after doing the CVS test and it's high risk, it's small, the risk is higher in the CVS compared to the amniocentesis test. And if after doing the CVS test, you cannot uh, you cannot have any kind of sexual intercourse at all you need to rest you cannot lift heavy things you cannot do anything strenuous during that period you need to take your time allow the child to heal allow, allow your body to heal up you know you allow your body to you know uh, adjust again come back to normal before you stress your body or do anything strenuous so that you don't have like a miscarriage but the good thing about both tests is that it gives you an idea of what you are having you know the genotype of your child if there's any abnormality abnormality your child is carrying you can find out even while pregnant and um, like i said the cvs can be done earlier in the pregnancy which is higher risk and the amniocentesis can be done in later stage of the pregnancy 18 20 weeks so um now that you now know the genotype of your child what next does knowing the genotype of your child help you at all well, how how does it help you what do you do after finding out the genotype of your child like if you know that you are having a child with as <sighs> if you're having a child with aa <sighs> that's a relief because you know you're having a child that is going to be normal and you know you're just going to be happy and your family is going to be happy and but if you're having a child with ss what do you do it still puts you in his in, in a place of dilemma it still puts you in a state of confusion because you have two options it's either you um it's either you decide to have the child with a sickle trait and then you are ready for whatever comes with it whatever problem comes with it and what i've noticed with couples that have kids with ss gene after a while they start getting angry with each other it's like they regret their choices later because they now see it is in their face they can now see what it is and the love kind of like starts to fade a bit you begin to get angry at this person angry at yourself when your child is crying and asking you mommy why daddy why why did you bring me to this world why put me in so much pain why am i not like my sisters why did you get married you know so it comes with a lot if you decide to have the child now that you know you have an ss child you should try to prepare yourself psychologically and financially because it is it will consume your finances. In fact, the test alone is very expensive. As at the time I checked, I think it was about 250,000 there. I'm not going to mention the hospital. You can find out the hospital yourself in Nigeria. There are a few of them that does that test. But I know Lagos Teaching Hospital, loot they do it. So it's expensive. And then after that, when your child starts getting a crisis and even maintaining your child i hear they go for blood transfusion all the time to flush the former blood they had and then put in you it's a lot so you guys have to now sit down and think and you know be ready for whatever it is is coming and the second option which as a christian i'm not going to advise anybody to do is it now helps you know that okay i cannot keep this baby i'll have to terminate it so you might end up terminating the child and then how many children are you willing to terminate what if you get pregnant five times and then five times the children are ss would you keep on aborting your kids like you really 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 need to sit down and think very well so after doing this test it kind of like prepares you gives you um gives you um an idea of, it kind of like prepares you helps you to prepare mentally financially um, you know psychologically and everything it helps you prepare and know that okay this is what I'm having and I'm ready for it now if you then have a normal child the child is AA or AS hey hooray hallelujah you're not having a child with sickle cell and then like I said the CVS test there can be i'm not saying all the time but there's still a number of women that have miscarriage after doing this test what if you now have a normal child and then you miscarry this child these are things that you should have at the back of your mind that can happen you know these are the disadvantages of the test but aside that it's good because now you can now know what you have and then it makes your decision even um 
easier so if you are as and you're married to somebody with as like i pray that god gives you the strength you need to be together god gives you the understanding and god blesses you financially in jesus name so that you can act, you can enjoy your marriage enjoy your children take care of yourself take care of your kids very well and if you're somebody with as and you are about getting married now you are not married it's good now that you have time to sit down and do like have a rethink again of your your decision and at least know your options do research research a lot thank god for google everything you need now is on google you can just go to google and do your researching and what i want you to know is most times when you're going through this thing you are on your own family members are going to tell you we told you pastors are going to tell you we told you it's only a few people that have strong faith that would pray with you and pray that god changes your genotype and in cases where your genotype doesn't change when you're going through crisis people i'm sorry you're going to be on your own so please do think very well and also know that it's going to be financially draining so aside that i wish you luck i wish you all the best and i hope god guides you in making whatever decision it is you finally decide to make i hope you guys found this video interesting i hope you guys found it educative like i said i know i'm not a medical practitioner but i know that i've spoken to somebody out there and somebody out there gets the message somebody was blessed by this message and somebody will be making a very good decision through this message that i just passed across thanks for listening please share this with anyone that you think would need this message um like comment subscribe share ask me questions ask me any kind of questions share your story with me and i'll be very very willing to advise you the way i can and you know just encourage you sometimes you need encouragement sometimes you need somebody to talk to that would understand what you're talking about you know what i mean so till i come you guys away again next time bye